Citizens of Mars, welcome to Terraformers. This is a brand new city building simulation game about converting Mars, transforming Mars into a livable environment. As the name implies, it's about terraforming. And today we have been sponsored to check it out and I've been playing around with it. It's doing very well. Published by Goblins Publishing and on Steam it's getting very positive reviews. It's like 87, 95% depending on which one you're looking at. It, it's basically rating 9 out of 10 on Steam. So go check it out. Link below. It goes straight to Steam. Thank you so much. If you want to support the channel, use that link to wishlist the game or buy the game and leave a review. Uh, reviews are always helpful on Steam. You know, whatever you think about the game, let them know. They listen. All right, let's press the play button. There is a Mars Cyclopedia that explains everything, but I don't know etymologically if Mars Cyclopedia makes sense, but sure, you know what it's about. Welcome to the Mars Colonization Project. A small step for the first colonists, but a giant leap for mankind. We have landed on Mars. We are here to pick a leader. And hopefully this is going to be successful. But failure is very common. Colonizing and terraforming a new planet, not as easy as it sounds. And it sounds very, very difficult. So, in my experimentation before, I lost the game, but because I reached a certain level, I unlocked some stuff. So, basically, it, it, it's not a roguelike, but there's a little bit of that. Here's our starting resources. 50 power, 29 food, 10 water, 5 titanium. It's not a lot, but it'll have to do. Now, I have done this early tutorial, so I should be able to skim through it for you. This is the victory condition. We need to get to 300 points total to, to win, and that includes terraforming steps, right? So there's that. This is basically how happy people are, the support we have. This can just tank and cause us to lose. This is Mars. And we'll be going from uh, little cities like this into and expanding into more cities, harvesting resources. This is primarily a simulation game. These are our resources on the left. And we have to elect a leader. Now, every number of years, you have to change leaders. So this is not a leader that just stuck with forever. You know, expertise politics. You basically look at what they have. We can get some free resources. Uh, we could construct this for extra support per turn. Specialization, pretty cities. When you have, when you found a new city, gain plus two support income. So with Pakai Ayad, we want to, it'll make people happy with us and we can get some free resources. With Thomas Foster, we could mine for stuff a little bit better and we could build supply stations for free uh, on planet locations. Exploration, uh, this I don't think I want this. And silica boost increases silica production by one. Eh. You know, I'm going with Pakai Ayad. I like this stuff. Confirm. This is who's in charge as of now. Ah, nice to meet you. Good. So, uh, we have to view our city. So this is our city here. Um, it's very orange, which makes me very orange. This is dynamic lighting in action. It's the red planet. I'm gonna match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we have to construct the project. Starting with a greenhouse farm is fine. Adjacency bonuses are a thing. Uh, you cannot build when the path there is blocked by rocks. Uh, I will just, for now, build a greenhouse over... It doesn't have to have much adjacency, so I'll just place it right there. Good. As you might have noticed, this costs resources. Understood, yes. So like building the habitation module will take 30 food, which we'll have next turn. Find a resource deposit. So exploring the world, we can see there's indications of what we might find, like small hint of nitrates, you know. And these, these regions also have like temperature, oxygen levels, rain in... This is Tempe? I think it's pronounced Tempe. Uh, this large hint of silicates and maybe water, that looks good. So let's go ahead and explore that location there. 
It costs one power to do. We get basically the resources that we find. And there might be a mine that we could build on this location. Uh, but we have to control the territory first by expanding our, our city into more locations. Right? Good. And this is a turn-based simulation game. So there's ending of turns. Each turn is a year, I think, uh, just for the scale of time here. Now, after every year, we can select one of three projects to add to our potential builds. Uh, right now, I think I will focus on sourcing a place for power. But I need nine tri tritium to do that, and I don't have a source for that. We do have... 30 food, so I can build a habitation module, which I will place here, because there are adjacency bonuses. Buildings can be moved, but it takes a few turns to do it, right? When you look at a building, um, I think some, I mean, I think they all can be moved, but not on like, all the time, but they can be moved. Uh, okay, so we have the ability to expand our territory control. So I could secure that mine. So let's go ahead and take over that location and set up a mine for getting one silicate a turn. Construct a mine. Hmm. And you can see we're starting to gain some victory points. Support income plus two, resource income plus six. Plus six. Are we really getting that much? Or maybe it puts everything into account, right? We can continue exploring, or I could go ahead and build this intercity. Uh, what's it? Interclass Dialogue Center, which gets us plus three support a turn. And I don't think there's any adjacency bonuses for that. So I will just stick that here. Good. And that gets us plus five a turn for support. That's really good. Yes. Very nice. Uh, the leaders can only do one action per turn. So I think that's all we can do this turn. The tutorial does go a little bit hands off over time. Is this a 4x game? Hold on. Exploration, yes. Exploitation, yes. Exploration, exploitation. Expansion, yes. Wait, what's the 4X stand for again? <laughs> I'm blanking. Ah. Exploration. Extermination. Mm, I'm going to say no. So I would say it's a 3X game. <laughs> if that... There, as far as I know, there are no aliens outside of the ones that we introduce. Now, let me just... Uh, that is... What is that resource there? Nitrates. We could find a source of nitrates, so I'll put that. Um, in terms of the... When I look at the... There is the... Not settings. The Mars Cyclopedia, which... Is that? No, this is the overview of everything. Mars Enthusiasm. In the Mars Cyclopedia, wherever it is, it does actually list... Um, Things like animal life and bacteria and stuff like that. But it's stuff that we would be introducing as we terraform Mars, right? So, we're not exterminating in this game. We're doing the opposite of extermination. Whatever the antonym of extermination is, we're doing that. So this is a 3x game, if you want to consider it that. Okay. <clears throat> so it's a new turn. Uh, I could go ahead and secure that source of nitrates. So let's go ahead and explore that. Got a couple nitrates. Oh, but there's nothing much here. It's not a nitrate. It's not a nitrate mine. It's just empty tiles. So some constructions do go on the, the planet map. Uh, so we'll need that for, I think, like trade hubs or specific structures. By the way, there are also places of interest, which just, they're like tourist spots. And it makes people happy. So that's something to look out for as well. I think that's all I can do this turn. Yes. Good. The year is 2056, by the way, right now. I've gained the trade route. Yes. Earth wants to trade with us, which is fantastic. 
It's 30 food for a habitation module. We're never getting that. I'll just put the... Okay, so now we can trade. So to trade, we can... We need to always balance what we trade. We can out one and in one. So for example, if I want to be building this tritium thermo generator i need to buy tritium right now because i don't have a source for it so i want to import tritium and i can export uh the uh, what am i mining here silicates i can export silicates so one in one out this will mean we're selling the silicate we're manufacturing and we'll get one tritium a turn in nine turns i could build the thermo generator sounds good sounds good um, I could also use this industrial lobbying to just get me some free resources. Which I probably want to just do. Plus one water, titanium. It's like one of everything, isn't it? Water, titanium, tritium, nitrate, silicate. Water. Yeah, it's, it's these five resources down here. So not science, not power, not food. So all the... The manufacturing goods I guess you could say so that could save quite a lot of turns because I could also do with five uh, nitrates to build a laboratory then we can start producing science which will allow us to do other things good good don't think we can do anything else right now end turn is this competitive um no uh what do I want here? Robot hub. So robots increase the population of a city, but they don't vote or anything. So they don't add to your your support, but you also don't have to keep them happy. So I'm going to get it. <laughs> we just need um, six titanium. Hmm. Uh, no text, just icons. There's text when you hover over. You, you learn that there's not a lot of icons to learn for the resources. They're, they're pretty distinct, so you, you get used to them pretty quickly. Uh, terraforming Mars is competitive, whereas I thought it should be co-op theme. Well, this is... This is just individual, I think. There's, there's just one project to terraform Mars. You know, there's no competing colonies or anything like that. As far as I know... As far as I know, I haven't encountered anything so far. Okay. Do I keep exploring? I should probably explore this turn. Spend two power. There's a happy face there. So I'll have a look there. Flat planes. Plus 20 support, not per turn. It's just a flat 20 gain. This is somewhere where we can settle. You also get plus two nitrates, plus three water. So we could build a city here when we want to be able to build more cities. Very important to do that if we're colonizing Mars, you know? Okay. So I can actually build a laboratory. So let's go ahead and place that down. How much does it cost to three power to remove a rock? I could, yeah, I could keep housing around here. Is that how I want to do it? Yeah, I'll have a laboratory here. And that starts generating one science per turn for technologically advancing things. Good. Let's continue. The towns remind you of heroes. Yeah, it, it does have that heroes vibe when you're building those towns. Getting exploration satellites. So it'll cost eight science, eight silicates to get this. Do I even have those? gives a I think because we're still going through the tutorial it allows me to just have that uh, tuba farm uh, entertainment center yes plus three support let's get an entertainment center which I can just build right now plus three support to any adjacent housing so I'll build the entertainment center here and then just have more housing around plus eight support very good these satellites, I think I can just use them once every three turns to reveal a location. So let us explore a potential source of what 
am I trying to save up for? Let's let's reveal this happy place. A lava tube. This is also a city location, as far as I understand. And ooh, we just found some bonus ten food while exploring that. This is, yes, we can found the city inside the lava tube, but it's completely covered in rocks. But it does have this great natural site. So, see, any adjacent population to this particular rock, they're extra happy looking at it. It's not like those ugly rocks, which are just blocking the way. This is a pretty rock. <laughs> so you want housing to be around this, this pretty rock. And it's plus four support per turn, just because people have a nice view. They complain less when they like what's out their window. Makes sense. Okay. We can continue to explore. We don't currently have a source of power. And I do not see any particular source of the um, tritium. I guess we'll... We should explore all the adjacent places around us. Rocky plains. Okay, just a bit of water and silicates. Another nothing tile there. Oh, there could be a source of tritium. We could get that next turn. We're just trying to save up nine so we could build a thermo generator. Rising expectations. Right. Minus four support income. That's minus five per turn. Because people just expect more. Okay, so we've gone from plus eight to plus three a turn. Marsha, housing. Fully protected from radiation. Is that a concern that we're going to have? A school. Adjacent population provides plus two support per turn, plus one science per turn as well. We could get this reasonably soon. Yeah, so this bar up here shows when this bar fills up, their expectations rise. So that's tricky. Let's explore this tile. We at least get three tritium, two silicates, another 25 support. Flat plains, which is for a city. Ooh, there could be a tritium mine. How much does it cost? 30 food to found a city. And this place has comfort of living minus one. Not the best. Oh, inside the the lava tube, it's covered in rocks, but the comfort living is three. So everyone living here is just happier. Okay. What's the stress taking mechanic that can lead you to lose? Um, like, uh, how do you lose this game? Uh, basically, it's about the support. As things go on, things just start making you lose support. Maybe you haven't done something you were supposed to have done, or you've grown your population too much as without making them happy. So for example, right, I built this entertainment center, which gives plus three, and this interclass dialogue center that gives plus three. So if I didn't build these two buildings, I would be less by six support. And right now I'm just plus three. So if I didn't build these two buildings, I would be minus three a turn, right? And if this support tanks, then, well, we're just... They, people just leave the planet and the project fails. That's that's the loss condition. Everyone just gives up on the Mars terraforming project. You know, so... You have to keep up with the support demands and stuff like that. Okay, where are we going next? I think I'm done for this turn. Oh, we actually have 10 for a greenhouse... 10 water for a greenhouse farm. That is actually something I might want to set up. How do I want to do this? I want housing there. I guess I could just stick it here. Spend three power to clear that. I can build a school as well. But it'll be for adjacent population. I don't have a lot of housing right now. Let's just put down another greenhouse farm. Gets us plus two on the food. Because we need 30 food to do anything significant. Uh, what are we waiting for? I could get this next turn. Actually, I could get this this turn. If I just get the resources. Good. And then I could put down 
the power plant, so we get plus one power. Start thinking about founding a new city. Yes. Um, I might want to set up a new city there. Makes it easier to take over this titanium and tritium location. And I'll see what's there. Th this looks like the most promising city location right now. Because we have sources for the silicates down here. And potentially nitrates down this way. Nitrates down this way as well. So, yeah, I think I want to settle a city here on these flat plains. But we need 30 food to do it. So, since I, I can cancel this import, I can start importing food while exporting... Export the same thing, I guess. We're not using these silicates. So now we should be getting three food a turn. Oh, the leader is only... He this particular leader is only here for another three turns, I think. Yeah, it's counting down. Robot hub, laboratory, habitation module. I should just have the habitation module on hand. That's another 30 food, though. Let's explore these locations. So I'll use the satellite on this. 30 support, 2 silicates, 2 science. Dormant volcano. I assume this is a... Oh, I can restart the volcano for 25 tritium. Is tritium a real thing, by the way? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really ever know if these resources are like real things. Uh, sometimes I, I just assume they are. So if I do this, it will start producing atmosphere and raising the temperature. Tritium is a thing. Okay, what is it? <laughs> Helium with two neutrons. Is it is it radioactive? Is it like, what does it do? Like, why would we need tritium to restart a vi volcano? Like, do we do we blow it up? Does it radiate something? <laughs> What's Because I know the other stuff. You know, I know titanium, I know silicates, I know nitrates, I know water. I, I don't know tritium. Very good fusion fuel. Ah, okay. It's basically for burning, is my understanding. Uh, I can... Explore here. So we need tritium to unlock that dormant volcano. That should be a tritium mine. Good. So I could build a mine or a dike because... We're gonna raise the ocean levels here and things are gonna flood. <laughs> That's something we have to consider, but I probably want the mine there. I just need to double my food right now. That's kind of the main thing. Continuing to explore might find us some free uh, free food as well, though. Greenhouse farm. Photovoltaic field. Hospital. Plus seven support per turn. I could build it now. Adjacent population provides plus one support per turn. Okay, if I'm doing that, I probably will have a house there. I can clear that rock. And I could... Adjacent population provides plus two support per turn. I can build this hospital right now there, and I'll get plus one from a house there, which is not a lot, but it's... Better than nothing. Yeah. Or I build it here. I'll have a school there. Then an... I don't know if I'll have that much housing. Right? I probably won't have more than... Oh, five population is the max. So I could have like 
three houses and there's there's some combined housing as well, like a robot hub plus two robots. Yeah, I think I build the hospital here. Plus 10, yes. When I build a house there, I'll get plus four support from the entertainment center and the hospital. This is going to be the best place to live. <laughs> Next to the entertainment center and the hospital. You can go out partying and then they'll drive you straight to the hospital when you overdo it. <laughs> okay. So I am still exploring all of these locations. This should be a source of... Ooh, it's a mineral cave. Titanium. And yes, plus 10 food. That saves a lot of time. This is a titanium mine. Oh, I could protect natural heritage instead. So people will be happy if I mine the titanium. Or... I could get plus six support per turn if I protect it as a natural heritage. See, these choices start to really, like, they seem like pretty simple choices at the start. But then it's like, oh, what do we really need right now? Like, what do we really want? And I can build a city next turn thanks to that. So I just won't, like, I mean, obviously we might just need to build a dike because things will start flooding. But I really want to get this volcano going. <laughs> so I think I want to set up that tritium mine. And our leader has retired. These are the new options. We've got Gustav Mirzoyan or Jorge Dromedo. So we've got an artificial intelligence expert and a construction expert. Generates plus five power, if I want that. Or two more projects are proposed this turn. Gain plus three science specialization. Increase your science production by one for every six robots you construct. This seems a bit early to elect that guy. Destroy two rocks for free this turn. Receive two modular apartment projects, which is housing for plus one population. Plus three support per turn if adjacent to at least one other modular apartment. We could use that in the new city. 30 food, though, for one of these. I'll need 60 food. We need so much. Constructing regional buildings costs 15% less resources. I think I'm going with Jorge here. Eco homes. It's less food, more science. Ah. So I, you see how, how science comes into play here? Like, you can use science instead of resources for something better. Robot hub. I can afford that robot hub. Both population and robot... Uh, plus, this is just plus one. Sure, I'll grab the eco home. Let me found this new city. I don't have enough water. Do I even have a source of water? Oh no. Uh, what am I buying? Let's start importing water. <laughs> I didn't realize we didn't have enough water. Fine. Um, but what I can do is I can do is earthworks and then get rid of two rocks for free to clear up this city. I can then build... No, I don't want to build that. I can build the robot hub. To increase population here. School, house, house, robot hub. Or I save the robot hub for the new city to increase its population quickly to access the tritium deposit. That's a better plan. See, We've gone from making very few simple decisions to, like, a lot of options are on the table right now. Um, so we need a source of water. Or at least we need to just find water. So I need to go up to these water locations here, I think. At least we'll pick up some water. Let's end the turn. Oh, there we go. To increase their prestige, three big corporations are offering gifts. Do I want titanium, water, or power? Water it is! Resonance station. Another hospital. 
soil factory. Adjacent food producing buildings produce plus one food per turn. The hospital's really good, so I'll have that on hand. Now, flat plains. We can now found a city. Great Vastitas Post. You can pick the color of what it is on the map. Sure. Found. Select the place for the headquarters. Everywhere is minus one support because this place kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know if there's a good location for a headquarters. So I'll just place it right here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to afford the modular apartments, but I can throw down the robot hub. So I could have like modular apartments here on like these four tiles. So I'll just throw a robot hub over there to increase the robot population. Or rather to just increase the population. And that gets us the ability to expand. So I want to expand into the tritium deposit. And I need some of that to mine. And I want to... I guess I should take control of this mineral cave first. Because I can't do the volcano yet anyway. So I'll take control of the mineral cave. So you see the cities... They're color-coded. This is the green city. This is the cyan city. I also want to explore... So what do I need now to build this mine? We need just one more? Okay, so I can use this to unlock that. That gets us three rocky plains. Okay, then I can build this mine to get a source of tritium. And we'll need 25 to get that started. Meanwhile, I need eight titanium to either mine or protect it as a natural heritage. I mean, protecting it as a natural heritage feels like a better long-term decision. Do I have any tips to be as handsome and ho as Jorge? Look very intensely downward, like you're very, very excited to build something. Like you're you're way too excited to build something that's relatively simple. Like you're you're gonna build a birdhouse, but you're just stoked to build that birdhouse. You're like, yes, I've been waiting all day to build this birdhouse. <laughs> that's how you can be as handsome as Jorge. Dromedo. Hmm. <laughs> uh, have we, uh, we haven't used his explore. Um, where do I want to explore? Uh, so it's quite a while. I basically need food to increase the population of this and then take over the volcano. That's kind of what we're doing right now. So let's just explore. Oh, so you notice... The amount of power it takes to explore is the number of tiles away it is from the nearest city. So this was like very expensive to explore before, but now it's much cheaper because uh, we built a city nearby. So it's just two steps away. Let's explore this location. Plus five tritium, plus two titanium. Okay, good. That's exactly what I wanted. Pit mine. Plus two tritium per turn. This is a better, but I can't, I can't be taking control of that. I'm currently... I don't need to import water. I need to go back to importing food. Right? Yes. Because I wanted to do the modular apartments in my new city. Ooh, a landing pad for another trade route. That could help speed things up. Yes. So there's like this tile here, which is just empty. I need to build another habitation module here. So yeah, see, moving things will take two turns and it's minus 10 support per turn while you do that. 
So you don't want to move buildings if you can help it. So I need one more population in High Crater Post. Destroy two rocks for free. Yeah, I should do that. Should use his ability while we have it. See, the destroy two rocks for free would help a lot if we take over this city. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to found that city during his term. He's gone in eight turns here. Okay. So right now, yes, we just need tons more food. Right? Yes. Tons more food. We just need so much more food. Plus one silicates for every three mines owned by this city. I just have a greenhouse farm. If I import one more water. Or maybe I can find one more water. Yes, if I just explore this tile. Six water. So go back to ex uh, importing food. I could then build... Just have a third greenhouse here, I guess. Or I could build it in the new city. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'll have the green... No, wait, hold on. There's some things that boost... I'll build the greenhouse there. That's another food per turn. That saves a lot of turns in the long run. Plus two support per turn. I can place this down now. So I wanted to build... Hmm. So I'll be placing... The modular apartments is plus three support per turn if adjacent to at least one other modular apartment. Okay. So they don't they don't stack. They just need to be in a line. So if I were to build a school plus modular apartments, I need two modular apartments next to each other. And is there a way for the school to be touching both of them? I don't think so, right? Yeah, none of these roads really work out. I guess it's fine. I'll just build a school there. Modular apartment, modular apartment. Then maybe some other kind of housing there. Yeah. This will get me at least one science per turn. Okay. Get CO2 factory. Terraforming initiation. So, they provided us with a CO2 factory to pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. We can now start terraforming the planet. So, we've got these new indicators over there. Laboratory, robot hub. Robot hub is always handy to... In case I can't get more population, more housing in. So, we've got the temperature, oxygen... Ocean level and atmosphere. Currently we have we have three atmosphere from something. Oh, is, is that just the Mars's atmosphere? It needs to be 60. Oh, that's a lot to terraform. Also, as we raise the ocean levels, uh <laughs> um our cities could start flooding and stuff. You know, that that kind of thing could tank support pretty hard, you know, just thinking about it. <laughs> Um, okay, so we need we need titanium. Uh, I just need two, I think. So let me use explore satellite on this one. Three titanium, very good. Aquifer and plus ten food, very nice. So that's actually a source of water which I could mine out. Uh, with that, I could place a robot hub. I would 
have a house there. So I'd have the robot hub there. Then I could have another adjacency if I wanted to do that. Yeah, house, house, adjacency, robot hub. That boosts our population. So I want to... I want to have the landing pad. CO2 factory is built in a city. So I will take that for the landing pad. Extract water for oceans. Oh, this is gains 10 ocean. The location will become empty. We need... Do I want to be raising the ocean right now? I guess I should prep for it. Or maybe I should just mine for water. That makes more sense, yes. Uh, I just need a lot of titanium right now. Maybe I should mine that titanium. I don't really have a source of titanium. But I need 8 titanium to build the titanium mine, so... That means we should probably start importing titanium. Yes. Uh, I should continue exploring. Any titanium sources I can explore? That one? Yes. Three titanium. It's a crater. I think that's another city location with two. So people like living in craters because they'll eventually have a dome over it and all of that. But it seems underground is the, is the nicest. So our starting city is a crater, right? Yes, it's a crater. So that's a city location. Possibly a titanium mine there. Okay. Uh, what was I building up to? Habitation module, right, for this place. Ooh, I can build that landing pad. So let's build a landing pad. And that allows us to have another trade route. We could double what we're doing. We just have to export something we don't need. Science for now. Okay, so two, two in, two out. We're importing two titanium a turn because we need it. Yes. Resource support. 10 tritium, 10 silicates, 10 nitrates. I think I need 10 nitrates for something. And I'm not currently mining it. Development center. Can research one extra project every turn. CO2 factory. Marsha. I guess I'll get that. I don't know if radiation is going to be a problem. Right, tuba farm. That's what I can build. Uh, I can build a tuba farm. Like here. Then I'll have something that boosts food production things there. That's four food a turn. So I can build a housing next turn. Or I could establish a city and work towards getting this titanium deposit. I should get this now. Yeah, so much stuff uses titanium. Right? Ah. Uh. <sighs> you have this game wishlisted, but is it actually worthy though? What's the difference between this and Per Aspera? Per Aspera is more of a production chain kind of game. This is more... It's hard to put it into words. This is, this is more sim management but also it's not to say the other games are not sim management it's just th this is this is like turn-based expansion balancing things trying to maintain support when people hate you too much the project ends uh this is more board game like this is this is more board game like a lot of it is you know 
placement adjacency but it seems simple but the decisions you have to make here are like really they really start to layer on top of each other like this mineral cave i could build a dike to stop flooding i could turn it into a mine or i could protect it as a natural heritage the two titanium per turn is huge but six support per turn is also huge because as things get more populated you know they start demanding more we've got plus 13 a turn right now but see as their demands go up then suddenly they're like nah we want more and it becomes expectations becomes minus 10 you know so and that that deters our win condition you know so having that as a natural heritage which is plus six per turn basically negates a whole expectation level and still gives us plus one you know so do we turn that into a mine or protect it as a natural heritage well it depends what we find like there's another titanium deposit down here so if i go ahead and set up a city in this crater i could extract that titanium instead and then maybe i'll maintain that as a as a uh, natural heritage and then make we, we could have it both ways but if i spend the food to build the city it means we're not spending the food to build housing in this city which delays our access to the volcano so what should i do right suddenly i could go in a million different ways <laughs> Right? It looks really simple and it's turn based, so there's no rush. But there's suddenly so many options. Like, you want to do everything. And the best thing about these games of trying to stay alive in any way is that you basically want everything. You're given 10 things and you want everything. Right? Whether it's they are billions or um, a survival city builder or anything like that. They, they, um, they, it starts out with, oh, do you want A or B? Do you want A, B or C? And then suddenly you're like, do you want A, B, C, D, E, F or G? And you want them all right now. Pick one. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's what makes these games sort of engaging and, and like, like you want to make the right decision because it's on you to succeed, right? And that, that's what makes the games good, because it means your decisions matter. Um, like here, do I mine for water or do I extract water for oceans? I really need, probably should mine for water though. You get that income coming. Like getting at least plus one on all of the resources I think is just kind of important. Uh, next turn I can found the city. I do have 10 water, yes. Then I'll use his earthworks to clear up some of these rocks because there's a lot of them. Okay, let's just end the turn. Bioengineering has begun. Scientists are making progress. So we're going to introduce bacteria to the environment. Do we want methanogenium? It requires minus one temperature but it provides plus one heat per turn with a bacteria spreader. Or do I get cyanopthia, cyanopita, which requires minus two temperature, but provides one atmosphere and one oxygen per turn. I'm, uh, hold on, let me come back to that. A courthouse provides plus two comfort of living in the city. That's actually really handy. Um, so right now we're not generating anything. The volcano will provide 50, 50, uh, 50 atmosphere, 10 heat. Um, so currently, hmm, the average temperature in the climate in this zone is minus one. Okay. 
is zero. So one of the options requires minus two. That's minus three. I don't know whether that's a minimum or like a maximum, right? <clears throat> so see, it says this minimum requirements, which means it can be hotter. Or does it need to be colder? <laughs> I'm actually unsure. Minimum requirements minus two, minimum requirements minus one. I know I have a place that's minus one. The other place is minus three if I go up there. I'm going to get the minus one because I know it works. And this says provides one heat per turn. Methanogenium. I think it can be hotter because it doesn't make sense if... Oh yeah, so if I get the minus two, it should work in the minus one region, but not in the minus three region. Right, but it's okay. I'm, I'm going to go with that one. I'm not building it anytime soon. I need so much science. Um, I think I have enough titanium to mine to get one plus one water per turn. I should be able to found the city. Oh, all adjacent locations need to be scouted first. Four turns. Satellite is... Okay, fine. Um, get me the titanium then. Very good. We need to explore all the surrounding locations. Um... What else was I needing titanium for? I don't want to build those yet. Uh, I needed the titanium for a titanium mine. So I need eight of that. Wait, no, I was going to build a titanium mine down here. Okay, so I need the city, take over that and build the titanium mine there. Yes, correct. Um, so I am just exploring these locations. There's our bacteria. I don't want to spend any of this yet. Yeah. I can only hold eight projects at a time. Drag and drop one to trash it or sell it for science. It's never gonna... I can sell this for one science. It's never gonna use that. Give me the one science. Okay. What? Delivery drones. Provides plus one robots. Adjacent population provides plus two support per turn. Ooh, another trade route? That's actually really good. Okay. So I need to use... So these all cost three power to explore. Yeah. me more. Titanium. Sandstones. Ooh. And ten food. Good. So this is a uh, guided tours. Plus five support per turn. Yes. So th this city is definitely good. Uh, I don't know if I'll go for that. Um, what can I build? I did just get ten food. So I can build the courthouse, which gives plus two comfort of living. Which I suppose I should use here. What was I gonna... I can build it there. I'll build it at the end. I think I'll build it there. Increases the comfort of living. Because they weren't really liking it here. So that should solve that problem. Okay. Then the satellite. Give me the silicates. The uh, nitrates, rather. Science. Rocky plains. So that's just empty tile. Good. So I just need to explore this. Then I can build the city. Yes. Good. I might need... I don't have a robot hub. I could fit another landing pad right there. 
The red cards are placed on the world, the, the Mars map. Thanks so much, DJ Remy. Hmm. Yeah, always exo woman. Okay, good. Tuba farm. CO2 factory. Miner's cottage. Plus one support for every mine owned. I think I just want more food. Kind of need that for everything. So, two turns until Jorge is gone. So we need to explore this location. We have just enough power to do it. Like 28 support. Thank you. Now, this city. Found the city. Dromo de jo... Drom... Drome... Dromedo Junction. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's make you red found. Ooh, plus two in some of these locations. Yes, I think right there is fine. I'll need to clear rocks to do anything. Am I building anything this turn? No. So I'll build here. Okay, so I can't actually build anything unless I remove those things. Uh, I want to... I need to get some kind of housing in there. Ruby dog, thank you so much. It's very kind of you. So I need to get this habitation module down. It's so much food. Do I still need more titanium? I think I do, right? Yeah, I still do need tons of titanium. Because I don't have the titanium mine yet. I needed housing here as well. I think, yeah, food is really just sort of the limiting factor right now. Okay. But first things first, I need to... Oh, I need to sell one of these. Eco homes. That is cheaper, because it's science. Okay. So I actually want to keep the eco homes. I think I get rid of the tuba farm, unfortunately. Right? Well, actually, if I had 30 food, I would use the modular apartment. So I should get rid of the habitation module, because the modular apartment is just better. Right? So I'll get rid of the habitation module for the one science. Then I just need a bit of food for the eco home. Uh, remove import. Get me more food. So that's six a turn. Then we'll get this in two turns. Okay. End turn. Danley group. We could get something that produces one science per turn and adjacent food producing buildings produce one food per turn or just a flat 50 support. I actually want this. I have a space for this. Danley Lab. It costs 28 science a place. Ugh. I could do with another one of those. Okay, so here I want to use the earthworks to remove... Bam, bam. Unfortunately, I think we only get one turn of that because <laughs> I miscalculated. Um, what I can do is... Oh, rocks are blocking away there because I need that. Right. Um... Maybe I build this somewhere else. Thermo generator. That's a school, so housing would be there. Housing would be there. The generator can't be next to housing, so I'll place it up there. That gets us plus two power a turn. Very important. Okay. Does this game seem like it would have good replayability value? Yeah, I mean, it's sort of actually designed for you to lose. Like, when you get to a certain 
point total and you lose, you unlock more stuff for starting conditions. It's like the first one is 50 points. So if you get to fit past 50 points, then lose, then you unlock more starting conditions, right? So it's sort of designed for you to go at this many times, right? So there is definitely replayability in this game. Um, then what did I need to do? Uh, yes, it's just, do I have, I've been spending this stuff. So I'm currently just bringing in the food. I should get six, which will be 20 next turn. Uh, I wasn't expecting the Danle lab. I think I do have to, yeah, I have to clear off a card here. I think the tuba farm does have to go. Yeah. Okay. Next leader. Retiring. So we have Mariam Fayed, Robotics. Three more projects proposed this turn. Gain four science. Construct a drone hub for free. Provides plus one robots. That's really good. Import CO2 from Earth. Get plus three atmosphere, plus three heat, and plus five support. Mine venting. Choose a mine. It immediately produces five heat and five atmosphere, as well as minus 25 support per resource it mines. Constructing mines is cheaper. Increase your power production by one for every new full power you start producing. I think it's Mariam Fayed for what I'm doing right now. The drone hub is just like a free boost one population. That's what I've been struggling with this whole time. Robots don't eat. Mariam Fayed, get in here. Roboticized laboratory. One science put three robots in the city. Research center, gas factory. I can at least place that. Okay. <clears throat> so I can build an eco home. And it's plus two support per turn as well from this. So let's build an eco home here that increases the population that allows me to expand into the titanium deposit. And I need four power to... <laughs> Uh, extract that. Um, if I were to expand to another city, it would probably be into this tunnel region for the support, and we can get nitrates there, so I'll use the satellites on that tile. Plus five nitrates, plus two silicates. Okay, those nitrates... Oh no, it was for the tuber farm, right? I'll just have the nitrates on hand for the tuber farm. Uh, so I just need four power, which will come in. If I generate one more power, I'll get a free power. Okay, fine. Uh, plus one science per three robots in the city. How many robots do I have? Two robots here. Two robots here. No robots here, but I could... Oh, her explorer collects plus one resource of every resource hint. Oh. Where am I likely to get three robots? I think this place is kind of full already, isn't it? I think I'm most likely to get more robots here. So I'll build this rob... Actually, I don't have to place it now, do I? I have eight cards. Okay, yeah, I don't have to place it now. I'll just pass a turn. Okay. A Mars quake. Sudden release of subterranean energy caused the ground to shake near Tempe. Damage structural integrity of greenhouse farm, the mine, laboratory, and habitation module. Sure, give me that. Ah, uh, that doesn't look good. Damaged. Auto repairs, one resource per turn. 
So there are things I can spend to repair it immediately. Minus 19. 15 food to repair that? Uh, this is for silicates. What was busted here? A food production. Five water. Okay. So it auto repairs one resource per turn. So it would take five turns. Okay, let's repair that. That one's cheap. So you see how things can suddenly fall apart. Two power, two titanium. Yeah. If I repair these, at least I stop losing the support. Okay. So what I could do for now is I will build the roboticized laboratory. Wait, how does this work? Pl uh, plus one science per three robots in the city. Drone hub provides plus one robots. So I will have this place down. Here. And then I'll get a free drone hub. That gets us plus one science per turn. Also increases the control we can expand here. So I can expand this over to this empty spot. Build another landing pad. Here. To increase the amount of trade we can do. So we're currently exporting that stuff. I want to be importing more titanium. And we just export another science, I guess. Okay, so we've got three trade routes now. So we're trading three three resources in, three resources out. I really want to get this dormant volcano going. Get some terraforming going. That's kind of the point of this. But turns out you can't just terraform Mars. People have to support your project. So to repair this, two nitrates, two silicates. We can afford that. Okay. So it's just this, which costs 15 food to repair. That's a bit much. I repaired everything except for that, because food is such a limiting factor. And I needed 4 titanium, 4 power. Let me make sure I get the titanium next turn. Oh. Import tritium from Mercury. Space hotels. Robot hub. Oh, so we can place things in space. Plus two tritium per turn. Space hotels, 10 support per turn. That sounds good. So costs five food, 10 titanium. So I think I have to complete a space project. Yeah. Does it just apply that those resources into it? Oh, I have to maximum total imports reach. I have to import into it, I think. Oh, okay. So we reduce import there, and then we can add or are we exporting to, into it? Okay. So we remove an export and an import, I see. And then we could... So it takes an export and an import to add something into a space project. Okay. Uh, let's balance this a little bit. Let's export the science because we're not... I mean, yeah, we're not really... Eh, we, we can actually kind of need that, but... <laughs> sure, that's fine. So we'll start working on the space project. Okay. Um, 
I build this mine so we get a source of titanium per turn. So then I want to protect this as a natural heritage. So we need eight and then we'll build a housing, take over the volcano, and maybe we'll have enough tritium to unlock that volcano. I assume this now says 14 food to repair. Yes, that will slowly repair itself. I don't want to spend money to repair that. Oh, if I don't use the leader action, I guess plus 15 support for not using it. Drone hub. I could just build a drone hub. But I'll wait. Let's... I don't have power to explore. Maybe I do build a drone hub. No, no. I'll, I'll just take the 15 support. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. I'll take the 15 support. Ah. Okay. Another landing pad. Uh, import hydrogen from gas giant. 14 tritium. I'm kind of saving that up. Another landing pad never hurts, right? So we are currently trying to build up food. So exploring is just kind of good to do. A lava tube, support tritium silicates, okay. Just kind of hoping for like a some free food or something. Yeah, this only costs two. Let's explore that. Another crater. More tritium. That that's a good amount of tritium, which we do need. We need 25 to restart the volcano. Oh, we can destroy the mine and then I think later turn it into a thing. This location will be submerged if the ocean rises to level three. I see. So we can raise the ocean a little bit. But I don't have another source of water right now. I think I have to... Most of the water's up there. I'm not close to any water source. Okay, fine. Um, so I'm saving up for the modular apartments. <clears throat> Silicates, nitrates, tritium. Do I need anything? Silicates. I could use silicates. Always good to have that as an option. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Whatever. I, I just got nitrates. I don't have a source of nitrates. Fine. Um, yeah, if I... Uh, so I need another 11 food. If I cancel that, just come back to importing food. And I need to export. I kind of need everything. Let's export the science. Okay. We do have two power. Let's explore that. Six titanium. Good. That should allow me to set this to protect natural heritage. I'll flood if ocean rises to level three. That gets us even more support per turn. So I think support, we are pretty set. I should just start terraforming the planet. 
which requires science for the bacteria spreader. I wanted this. That's really expensive, though. The CO2 factory, which is power and titanium. And a volcano. Yes. Okay. Need to get rid of a project. Greenhouse farm. Yeah, goodbye. Enter. Bioengineering progress. Get tundra forest. Requires one rainfall. Plant spreader. Can spread plants. 21 nitrates. Or day noc Caucus, plus two atmosphere per turn. I mean, this is new. Tundra forest. Let's try that. Luxury workshop. 23 silicates. Android hub. Quantum data center. Can't really... Don't research and just get one science. Yeah, I, I think I should press this button more often. I just don't want it. Okay, um, so I've got a lot of things to put down here. Uh, I just need to import one food. Let's instead import more of that so I can get the photovoltaic field down. Do I have... what else do these need? Oh, I see. I should actually import more of this so I can get down a modular apartment next turn. Yes. We can keep exploring. Let's do this. She picks up more resources when she explores, so... Especially when there's multiple... What is this? Small hint of heat. Small hint of atmosphere. Small hint of water. Oh. Let's explore that location. We collected three heat, three hat atmosphere, and three water. CO2 glacier. So we've got three heat. And three atmosphere. Okay. That's that's the pull, I guess. Drop nukes. <laughs> Cost three tritium. Hmm, okay. We can just nuke it. Permanently raises the radiation in the climate zone by one. Raises global radiation by one for three turns. The location will become empty. You don't need to own this location to perform this action. So radiation for this zone will be permanently increased by one. So as long as no one's living in Lower Borealis, it's fine, right? Radiation everywhere else will be bad, but only for three turns. Let's nuke it. The maker of worlds. I am become life, the maker of worlds. Designed to be a tool of destruction, we used it for constructive prog uh, purposes instead. Nothing can compare to its force, making it the perfect terraforming tool. Alright then. <laughs> Just a touch of radiation, I'm sure people will be fine. Right? They'll, they'll be okay. Let's... Oh, I need to get rid of a card. What did I not want? I need all of this stuff. I'm supposed to build the CO2 factory as well. I just don't have... I guess I can get rid of the hospital. Support is the least of my concerns right now. Spaceport, plus two trade routes. Oxygen factory, 
plus one atmosphere to per turn, plus one oxygen per turn. Homesteads, plus four support per turn, 30 food and 10 titanium, plus four support. This is like a really good house. We are slowly getting titanium. Now, here, I wanted to start building my modular apartments. That is connected, I think, yes. Oh, a bridge, look at that. That gets us the ability to expand onto the dormant volcano. Now we need 25 tritium. Let's stop importing that. Let's push up to the tritium so we can get that dormant volcano. Let's try pick up some free tritium. By using the satellite on that. That's another plus two, okay. Don't really have the power to explore most of this. Any of these locations have tritium? It's all costing three. Is there anything I want from here? The sandstones for guided tours. Plus five support per turn. I guess I just build a drone hub for now here. Allowing us to take over the sandstones. And then I could set up guided tours there. That's just an easy thing to set up. And we just need tons of titanium for everything. This requires 21 nitrates. Let's just get that nitrate in. Actually, no. Let's just get our... Get that up. Okay. We're going to activate that volcano. Oh, I could just pop that down. Another entertainment center as well. I think I just want the food. I'll just place this here. Another plus food. Okay, good. Uh, I just need one tritium so I can stop importing that. Let's go back to importing all of that. Ah, if I just explore like this location here. Wait, what do I need to activate the volcano? Just the 25? Okay. Explore that. Silicates, nitrates, tritium. And plus 10 food. Yes. Then I go to the volcano. Restart the volcano. A titan awakens. Our theories were correct. We could indeed activate the volcano. Harnessing the fire of the gods. Atmosphere level increased. Your terraforming efforts are paying off and the latest scientific analysis shows the atmosphere has reached a new stage. Mars's environment is becoming ever more comfortable to live in and your people are enthralled. Thumb some life forms might now be supported. 100 support plus one radiation in all cities. Is that what that is? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Why is the uh, blowing up a volcano damage things in nearby territories? Oh no! Turns out making a volcano explode wrecks everything around it. <laughs> oh no! I was not expecting that. Oh, these are all on the planet surface. Oh. 
just need food. I basically blew up my city. Minus 80, huh? What are the cheapest things to repair? Five food, two titanium for the courthouse. Five nitrates. Two science, five silicates. Five food, two titanium. Just trying to minimize the effects. That's slowly been repairing, but I guess I'll just finish that off now. Okay, so at least half the amount. Ah, oh. I should probably have read a bit more on the volcano. <laughs> Uh, well, temperature's almost there. This is atmosphere. A city can have a maximum of five. Reaching the next level will increase the radiation protection. Oh, this radiation protection in all your cities. Okay. All right. Fine. Enter. Oh, people expect more minus 10 support. Of course. Road paper plus three expansions? Oh, wow. This is actually really good. Because we just need so many tiles on the map right now. And it costs... Just titanium? I think I just three power to remove. I think I just pop a drone hub here to allow me to take this tile, and that allows me to build at least a photovoltaic field for one power per turn. Okay. This was this was flat planes. If I set up flat play a city there, take those water sources, I could start rising the ocean levels, I think. We actually don't have a lot of empty tiles right now. Like, there's one there. But like the bacteria spreader, the plant spreader... Those need to go on the world tiles. Okay, I'll just have to withstand this support loss. Oxygen factory, combined living center, food factory. No, just give me the one science. Okay, so if I want to found a city that's with a bunch of food. Um, if not that... Road Paver Depot provides plus three expansions. That could get us to... Does it mean like I can go one, two, three like that? Probably need to explore it. Ten power, that's good. That allows me to explore this. Okay. What's this sandstorm? Rain in Arabia, minus three. Is it a particularly deserty place? <laughs> okay, I think if I just build the, the road paver depot, plus three expansions, that should allow us to go one, two, three to capture the water and not build a city there. I just need to get tons of titanium in. Election year. Okay. 
Mariam Fayed being retired. Who's next? Aisha Katri. Yeah, plus one resource uh, exploration. Every location explored is plus 10 support. Wow. Construct sewage treatment plant for free. Plus one water per turn if city has at least four population. Converts three silicates to 10 titanium. Removing a rock provides one titanium. Select the city, it produces its support again. Each city can only be selected once per leader. Construct an embassy for free, plus two support per turn per trade route provided by this city. Increases the number of trade routes by one for every three new trade routes you set up. Trade routes from adjacent mines don't contribute. This is, uh... I'm pretty sure I have three trade routes, so this is a free trade route. We can also just pop an embassy down. City of the Year. Explore a location, gain plus 10 support. This will help me regain the support I lost during the volcano mishap. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any of those. Um... So, okay, so first, I should be able to just, this is construct embassy for free. Does it actually say how many trade routes we have? Because we, we have both landing pads connected to this city. Does it actually label the number of trade routes? It's this one, right? Radiation three. Oh, radiation protection. Okay, right. It's not radiation. That's fine. I don't know if it actually la uh, numbers climate zones, specialization, space projects, technologies. So I think I just construct an embassy here. Yeah. So that was for support for the two trade routes. Yes. And I just need to... So I don't need to be importing... Well, I actually kind of need tons of that. So let's just do that one more turn. Okay. So we end the turn. Android hub plus three robots. School. Landing pad. Plus three robots could be nice to have. But let me... Let me try build the Road Paver Depot. And I'll just pop that. What is this building? Laboratory. This is the hospital. So let me put the Road Paver Depot here. That gives plus three. So then I should be able to... Yeah, I can expand. Expand. Deep core mine. Extract water for oceans. 30. It's 30 straight away. And I'll increase an ocean level. Kablam! Ocean level increased! Plus one. Rain in all climate zones. All locations on elevation have flooded. Elevation one, I think, have flooded. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's working. We've got ocean level 1, so anything on the the lowest level is now flooded. We've got bits of water. 
And that means rain rain levels have increased everywhere by one. It's like even in the Arabia part, it went from minus three to minus two. I don't know if we have anywhere that is one. Oh yes, rain in Solis is one. Um, and the plant spreader. I did tools. Um, the plant spreader needed rain one. And so this... I just need to see if any of these slots are empty. Otherwise, I could, I could demolish. Building will be destroyed completely. That'll be minus one power per turn. But it will allow me to build a plant spreader. Okay, let's just get rid of this. And I place the plant spreader there. And it's spreading plant. In this area that does have one rain. No oxygen, but this should get to it. Maybe we'll start seeing some green soon. Ah, oh, Mars is looking different today. Spread life. Right, we also need the bacteria spreader, which requires science. So I should probably stop exporting all my science. Let's instead... Let's just do this. Oh, are those... I wanted to. Can I finish off the food like that? Or I can just do that, right? It uses a trade route. Just get that food all into it there. Okay. This has one more to expand. So this is. Are these buildable here? Yes. They're considered far away. So I could have the bacteria spreader there. Aquifer. I'm so close to getting to the target temperature as well. I just don't know. Is that because I nuked it? <laughs> don't know if I have a... This will spread bacteria. Found the city there, and then we're gonna explore here. Explore there. Water nitrates. Rocky plains, yes. So I could go ahead and claim that tile. Oh, minus one per turn. Yeah, it doesn't like us claiming these tiles which are really far away. It's actually minus two per turn. I don't know if I can unclaim a tile. I don't think I can. Is that? Ocean location. So it's all frozen right now. We, we increased the the water level, but it's all frozen because we don't have we don't even have tier one temperature. Um, I'm just trying to find if there's any Anything that could give us another 7 temperature? Might have to go down to the other pole or something to... to maybe maybe I just nuke both, both poles? <laughs> That's a plan, right? I can build this landing pad. Is that what I want to do? Just have another trade route, sure. So that allows us to really just get that going. Yes. Okay. Rising expectations again? I'm like transforming a whole... I don't want any of these. Well, just in case, give me the habitation module. 
I'm terraforming a whole planet. Fine. Um, so I'm saving up science for the bacteria spreader. I don't think I, I don't have enough to put more of that in. Can I import and then no, I can't do that. I think I can do that. Correct? Yes. Okay. I want to get those space hotels down. Oh, if I just get one more science next turn, I can build the bacteria spreader. Okay. Let me go ahead and explore. There. Support water nitrates, a crater. Fine. Okay. So the bacteria spreader should start getting life out. Uh, let's just explore that. Rich soil. Oh. Rich soil. Agricultural complex. Three food a turn. That is something I would want to do. There we go, that's getting some stuff going. Okay, enter. Arctic hares, animals, bioengineering, alpine forest. Animal spreader. Can spread animals. Requires zero temperature, one oxygen. How much oxygen do I... I have zero oxygen right now. I think I should... Exploration satellite. Oh, it's like what we have. Entertainment center. Heliostat power plant. Plus two power. Now the entertainment center might be good to have. Uh, let me... Build the bacteria spreader. So we can spread bacteria. Okay, um, over here. Is it there? Yeah, I'll just put down an entertainment center here to get another three support. Most things have fixed up, that's good. Okay, so now we can stop importing science. Import more of those. Okay. And I just need more titanium, so let me go ahead and have a look at this. Plus two titanium. Okay. Because I actually have enough food to put down the next modular apartment. Uh, on the bacteria level, which one... You could use if the game have options to choose. I've kind of forgot what I chose. I, I chose this. Temperature is zero, so... This is the plant spreader. I assume it is... There is one rainfall here, right? Rainfall is one, yes. Requires at least one land zone. So this should be working, right? Well, it says provides one oxygen per turn, but I'm not getting that. Oh, recharge duration 12. Oh, I actually have to do it. 
Okay. Tundra Far Spread. <gasps> that actually worked! Then I should be able to... Provide one heat per turn. There we go! Thank you, Snuff Kinko, for asking about that, because it wasn't what you were asking, but it made me look at the UI and actually click the button. <laughs> oh, now, now we're going. Now, in seven turns, we'll get to the next temperature level. Oxygen's gonna take a long time, though. All right. Um, we need one oxygen to support hair. One temperature, one rainfall. We'll be able to do this next. Never built that either. Okay. So yeah, I can't... I now have Alpine Forest. Which needs one temperature, one rainfall. So I don't think anywhere has one temperature. Here would get the temperature, but won't get the rainfall. This is... I think it's because I'm just... I, I've started very close to one of the poles. So actually I should have been expanding southwards. Because it would have been more mild in terms of temperature and, and rainfall and stuff like that. Minus one, minus three, one. Right? Fine, okay. Um, enter. Yeah, I should grab that, then go into here. Oh, I don't have enough titanium. Just wanna get, I need how much? Six? Yeah, just do that for one turn. Unless I happen to be able to... Uh, might be able to get some there. Three titanium, perfect. I found an old rover. Plus five support per turn for a rover museum. Sure, I'll find a spot for it. Then I can build this here. That gets us much more support. Okay. Uh, the Rover Museum. Seven power, seven titanium. It's quite a lot. Let's import some power. Then I'll get the Rover Museum going. Good. I want to see the temperature go up. A billionaire's idea. Oh no. Refuse. 50 support. Or... Get a nuclear oxygen factory. Provides two atmosphere and two oxygen per turn. Increases the radiation in the city by one. <laughs> I do need the oxygen, but I don't think I can handle the radiation. I'll refuse. Cultured meat lab. I'll hold on to that. Oh, wow. It's green. You know what? I'll just throw this laboratory down. I know that costs some power. Uh, we needed... What was I getting? The Rover Museum. I needed 7-7. Seven, seven. I think I'm counting that right. Okay. Let's finish exploring this. Nitrate titanium. Okay, so I don't need to import that. I can just import all onto power. And then I should be able to get the rover museum. Bacteria spreader, space hotels. Could do with more power. I wanted to build the rover museum here. To get us more support. 
And we're actually at the halfway mark in terms of our goals. It's taken us almost two hours, but we're halfway and we, we haven't lost. We're, we're, I shouldn't have blown up my cities with... Um, how is this still damaged? What does it need? Six food? Repair it. Stop that smoking. Why is it still smoking? Nine food? Okay, repair it. Okay. I think I've fully recovered from from the accidental, totally accidental volcanic eruption that destroyed an entire city. <laughs> um, we've got almost one level in everything. Just oxygen is lagging behind um, because I, I didn't realize I had to manually plant the trees and the bacteria. But we got it down. We got it down. I've got lots of stuff coming in here. Uh, I can stop importing so much of this stuff. I do need to finish this space project, so I want to get all of that. Oh, right. We need to... They're basically both imports, like that. Uh, need to export some stuff. Let's export two of those. Okay. I want to finish that space project and I want to get the temperature up. What do I not have a source of? Nitrates. Surely I own a source of nitrates. I don't? The nearest is there. Really need to found a city. Or down there. Okay, end turn. <clears throat> School, spaceport, Android hub, none of those. Okay, uh, then I think I can... Do that. And that should be... The space hotel should be done next turn. City of the Year. You know, make this City of the Year. Plus 19 support. Fantastic. Very good. Two more turns and we get to the next temperature level. Artificial Magnetic Field. Plus one radiation protection globally. That's actually really good. And I can enable the spaceports or I can trash it if anything. Enable. Oh, they've completed the space project. Doing very well so far. To stay in power, you'll have to keep support above zero at all times, improving the comfort of living and population. Also constructing buildings to provide support. Ah, oh, reach 300 victories. We're all curious to see how far you can bring us. Good luck. I think that's technically the end of the tutorial. <laughs> right? I think all of that was the tutorial. Lava tube. Very good. Um, in terms of getting this going, I actually have the science, I just have to dump it in. Oh, it's all coming together. But I think that is a very good place to... Oh, wait, no. I was going to close it out, but we have to we have to get to the next temperature level, don't we? At least, at least. It's going to take forever for oxygen. But let's get to the next temperature level. Okay, let's go. Minus 20 support. Minus 20. Plus 3 power per turn. Orbital solar panels. Domed park. Plus 4 support per turn. Exploration satellites. It's three power is really good. Um, yeah, I should just... I should explore further south, actually. Just rocky plains, two power. Right? Because down here you see temperature and rain gets more mild. Around the equator. I assume it's still an equator, right? I can build more stuff, but I just want to see the temperature rise. And it's an election year, okay. 
Temperature level increased. Plus one temperature in all climate zones. 100 support. And we could go for Arthur Foster. Mining. Mine resource. Earthworks. Destroy five rocks for free this turn. That's actually really handy. Or import life form. Isabella Torres. Lower rain requirement. Reduces the rain requirement of a life form by one. Minimum equals one. Oxygen boost. Increases your oxygen production by one for every new three oxygen. So do I just build more? Soil cleanup tour. Produces 15 atmosphere for every exploration. Increases your tritium production by one for every one you start producing. That it doubles. This guy doubles our tritium production. Orbital telescope. No, I don't want any of these. So like, I could explore and just add 15 to atmosphere, which is this. Like we need 120. Like every explore is plus 15. Alternatively, I could go into not this city, into this city. And do destroy five free rocks this turn. This game scales. <laughs> uh, for the oxygen level, maybe the bacteria helps a little. It depends which bacteria you pick. What did I pick? I picked a bacteria that does one heat per turn. Um, so it doesn't. Um, and I can't do that again for another five turns. Can't. I don't have an animal spreader yet either. Um, so I picked the bacteria, which was one heat per turn, so that's not producing oxygen. I maybe should have gone for the other bacteria, which I think does that. But wow, look at that. We're actually at 200 out of 300 on our progress to beating this first round. Now remember, once you beat the game, there's new start conditions and all of that. Like, what else could we do? Trade routes from mines, total project suggestions, total projects researches, uh, resource income combination, uh, resource income, support income, 86. Support income is 86 per turn. Wow. It's just minus 50 from the expectations. But yeah, okay. I think this is a good place to bring it to a close. If you want to see how it's fully terraformed, go get the game. <laughs> Thank you so much to Goblins for sponsoring this video. This has been Terraformers. Click the link. It's just a referral link straight to the Steam page, and you can wishlist or buy the game. Thank you so much for using that link. And the game, it's, it's rec being received very well. It's got... Uh, recent reviews are over 90%. Total reviews, I think, were in the high 80s. People are really liking the game. It looks simple at first, but then it's just layers on layers on layers and layers and layers of decision making. And suddenly, there's just so much you can do. Right? Like, we, we've, we've not... Oh, you can't actually zoom out. That, look, at, look at our little marble there. Right? We've got a couple oceans going. They're still frozen. Little patch of green. Oh, look, the light actually lights up from the cities when they go into the night part. <laughs> and that has been Terraformers. Thank you so much for joining. I really hope you enjoyed it. Check out the game. It just released. Simulation thing and all of that. Good, good, good. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining.